Hey YouTube, welcome to Clarity Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today we're going to talk about mechanics of solids. Let us get into the video. This video is an introduction to mechanics, where I'll be talking a few basics and definitions, and then we'll get into deeper aspects on the later videos. So let us get into this. So guys, first of all, we need to understand the definitions of space in mechanics. So when I say space, as the clip I've shown there, you might imagine about astronomical space or even astronauts. But in this case, we're not talking about the astronomical space, but we're going to talk about the geometrical region in which the study of a body is involved is called space. So what do I mean by that? So I'm talking about the 3D space in which an object is placed. So as you can see, the small video clip that I'm showing there, it indicates the Cartesian coordinate system that is x, y and z axis. So if I place a small particle in any of these coordinates, I'll be able to specify and tell you where exactly the point is located in the three dimensional space. So yes, that is the definition. The geometrical region in which the study of a body is involved is called as space. It need not be extremely large. It can be as small as sometimes in centimeters, millimeters or even in nanometers. So up next, we'll have to talk about time in mechanics. So time in general is super complex and then there's various definitions for time. There is quantum definitions of time, there is a casual definition of time and also a layman's definition of time. But in mechanics, what do we define by time? So I would like to use an example of this sand glass. As you can see, there are two hemispheres, the upper hemisphere and the lower hemisphere. The sand is dropping from the upper hemisphere to the lower hemisphere. This indicates change. So there is a change happening and this change indicates the process or happening of time. So let me define time then. So I have, you know, going to define the basic definition of time. Okay. The unit of time is taken as a second in which the definition as the duration of 9.2 billion period of radiation of cesium-133 atom. I know it sounds complicated, but let me make it easy for you. As you can see the small atom I'm showing you, a small video clip of atom in the right corner of the video. The electron revolving around the nucleus will absorb a radiation to get excited, whereas cesium-133 is a, is a nuclearly active atom. So it is already active and when the electrons from the higher energy level drop to the lower energy level, they emit radiation. As you can see the small green arrow mark there. This radiation being emitted one, being emitted a number of times, that is 9.2 billion period of radiations from a cesium-133 atom is set to be one second. This is a well known and this is a well accepted unit of time. So what are the units of time? As you can see the list of units are put there. The unit of time is one second, as I had mentioned. To understand the larger quantities of time, that is, as 60 seconds pass by, it's equal to one minute. And when 60 minutes pass by, it's one hour. And when 24 hours make a day, 365 days make a year. Similarly, 10 years make one decade. And 10 decades make a century, over which we address in terms of centuries. So that is the definition of time. And now we'll define a particle in mechanics. A particle may be defined as an object which has only mass and no size. Oh wait, what do I mean by that? How can something have only mass and no size? Let me explain with an elaboration so that you can understand the concept of particle. The background picture as you see there, you might be wondering why did I use an aeroplane? An aeroplane flying thousands of meters high in the sky appears to be a small particle from the ground. But it has a lot of mass as you know it. It's a big plane. But it is so far away that the relative distance between the observer on the ground and the aeroplane is so big that you can neglect the size of the aeroplane. So it comes or it defines a particle. And the next example I could give is the picture of Earth from Mars. This photo was taken by the Curiosity rover from Mars 
and you can see that the earth is nothing but a small point in the sky. You know how big the earth is, we all live on earth, but this particle or the earth in this condition exactly explains the definition of particle because the relative distance between the two planets that is earth and the mass is so big that you can neglect the overall size of the planet earth. So it is basically a particle. So now that we have seen the definition of time, space and particle, let us define rigid body in mechanics because the, the whole subject is nothing but the study of rigid bodies. So I have drawn a simple figure here, a body and which has two points that is A and B and the distance between A and B will just be named as AB. Now, I will just apply some forces on this body that is F1, F2 and F3. These forces will make or force the body to rotate or to move. Let us see how that can happen. This animation denotes that the body has changed its position, it has rotated and now the two, the two points A and B are changed to A dash and B dash. But if you notice something, the distance between the A dash and B dash was similar to that of A and B. That means it is a rigid body. So let me define it. A body is said to be rigid if the relative positions of any two particles do not change under the action of the forces acting on it. In the previous example that I used here, you could clearly understand it. So the definition of rigid body is as simple as that. That is two particles will never change their relative positions no matter what. Simple. So just try or any solid objects that is there in your house. Try to mark two points with a marker and try to reorient the body and check it out. You will realize that the points have never moved relative to each other. On the other hand, if you take a small tissue paper and mark two points, and when you try to reorient your tissue paper to the right, left, lift it up and etc. These two points will never be on the same position because tissue paper is not a rigid body as a whole. So that is the definition of rigid body. So guys, thank you for watching and consider subscribing. Clary Concepts is here to help you through the journey of mechanics of solids. Bye bye.